Uh, good morning, everyone. Today, uh, we're going to have a our third laboratory experiment entitled Amplitude Shift K. Okay. Now, before that, before we start our experiment, uh, I would like you to go to the following website. Okay. So, first, copy the link that I will provide for you. Okay, and go to the Google Chrome. And then, paste it to the link. Okay. Alright. So, once you are in the, on the web, website, click the English button. Okay. All right, and then in the username, type user. All right, and then the password will be visitor. Okay, check your spellings, it's working or not. Okay, then click submit. Then there, there you go. All right. Okay, let's have one example, uh, one example diagram from our experiment number three. Okay, now in amplitude shaking, your message signal is the digital data so in the form of a square wave or 1001. Okay, and your carrier will be the sinusoidal wave. Okay, now, now this is this will be your expected output on this experiment. Okay, okay, let's try one diagram. Okay, one diagram to the simulator. Okay, now in this diagram, you'll be needing a master signal, a se sequence generator, a dual analog switch, and a oscilloscope okay now in this in this simulator the oscilloscope is already being installed okay so in this area this is your oscilloscope so you have channel a channel b channel c channel d and if you want to if you want to adjust the time of the waves you can adjust by changing the time base from here. Okay, if you want to adjust the voltage per division, you can adjust from here. Okay. So now, so now you'll be needing a master signals, a sequence generator, and a dual analog switch in this diagram. Okay. Now let us let us uh input the master signals now once you are in the in the in the simulator click select okay a small window will pop out and look for the master signals okay this is the master signals okay click it all right and then you'll be needing a sequence generator as well so from here select look for the sequence generator okay all right sequence generator now what else uh, i think you will you'll be needing you'll be needing a dual analog switch all right so let's try to do analog switch okay is it dual analog switch? Here we go. All right. Okay. So now I think you're ready to connect the diagram. Okay. To the simulator. All right. So I'm going to open this one and 
Well, let me minimize a little bit. So I'll be having a reference. Okay. All right. Now, in the master signal, you need to connect the two killers digital. Now, here in the master signal, here in the in the simulator, okay. Actually, we are using a Teams, uh, 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 Emona Teams, no, rather than the the Emona Biscuit. So what we are what we are using in the college is that is the uh, Biscuit type. A mono biscuit type, but here we'll, we'll be, we'll be, we are, we'll, we'll be using the teams, the mono teams. Okay, so the mono teams, so look for the two colors message. Okay, now in our manual it says two colors digital, right? Okay, now but here it only shows TTL and sine wave. Actually, TTL is uh, almost the same with the, the uh, digital signal, okay? Alright, so you can use the TTL instead of a digital 2 kilohertz, okay? Connect this to digital kilohertz or the TTL to the clock of the sequence generator. So, click and click, alright? Next is... Connect the sine wave, okay, this sine wave, okay, this sine wave to the input 2 of the dual analog switch. Yeah. Click it. Click, okay. So, now we are done connecting the master signals to the sequence generator. Now, from the sequence generator, you have this, uh, sync x and y connection okay so the x will be connected to the control 2 of the dual analog switch okay so x the control 2 all right and then x will be connected to the Okay, X to the channel 1 of the oscilloscope. Now remember, in the oscilloscope here, we have four channels. So you can use any, any one of them. So click the X here, again. So I prefer to connect it in channel B. Okay. Now, okay. Let us connect the the sink, okay? The sink, okay? From here, no? The sink connection to the external channel. But for this experiment, actually, we don't need to to do the sink, okay? But anyway, anyhow, but in, in, just in, in case, no? Just to make sure that uh, everything's the output will be everything will be okay so we need to just connect it okay connect it to channel a all right and then the out of the dual analog switch here on the bottom connect it to channel 2 with the oscilloscope but in this experiment in this diagram connect it to let's say channel D okay now there you go the blue color wave is your digital data which is the message message and your uh, the channel D the output of the dual analog switch or what you call the amplitude shifting signal okay all right so that's it how to use your anyway uh, let's let's play play uh, before I end the video the video 
let's play the the uh, the the simulator. Let's try to change the time base. Okay, make it change to 500 microsecond per division. Okay, so it, it's in, it expands. Okay, so per division. Okay, it reads 500 microsecond. Okay, okay. Now uh, I need to go back to the two millisecond per division. Okay. Now the the time division you can also adjust it. You know, the amplitude to maximize the reading. Okay, if you want the 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 per division will be one volt. Click it down. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now see. Look at this. So the, the division or the boxes will be equal to one volt. So one, two, three, four. Okay. But make it two volts per division. That's better. Okay. Now you can see here now there is a there is a readings or measurements. Okay. So you have this A. So this will be your voltage for the A and for the B this is the voltage B is uh, our data is 3.77 okay C 11.1 .1 millivolts per uh, RMS because it's flat no? it's almost zero and the D is 934 millivolts RMS so now if you want to increase this you, know, you can just put it, uh, make it as a one volt. Okay, so there you go. It increases. Okay, so the amplitude shift keying actually is that if if the message digital is one logic one or digital one, okay, your signal the carrier will still the same. But if the digital data signal is logic zero, it will clip off the carrier. Okay, as you can see in the signals or signal output on the analog switch. Okay, there you go. So I hope you I hope you followed it and I hope you. Uh, try it at, at your home and let me know if you're successful or not. Thank you.